Here we have lesson 2 unit 14 which is grammar the present perfect passive. We have question number 1 underline the examples of has or have been plus the verb. Number 1 the final seven places have been chosen and it is done have been chosen is underlined. Number 2 a new list of wonders has been written Number three, the Taj Mahal has been visited by millions of people. Number four, it has been damaged by pollution. Let's see the answers. Here you have the answers. Number two, has been written, underlined. Number three, has been visited, underlined. Number four, has been damaged, underlined. So let's read the grammar box. Then we will watch a video. The present perfect passive. We use the present perfect passive to talk about recent events or general experiences without a specific time. When it is more important to talk about an action than the person who did it. So we have example, plans have been made for the next class trip. The dishes haven't been washed yet. The form is have or has maybe not in the negative been plus past participle the new date for our book club hasn't been decided yet the painting has been sold for a lot of money we can use by to say who or what did the action the prize has been won by a 15 year old boy now let's watch this video <laughs> Present perfect, active and passive, act passive, affirmative, object plus have, has, plus been, plus past participle, examples, a game has been played by me. Some sweets have been bought by Sam. Negative. Object plus have, has, plus not, plus been, plus past participle. Interrogative. Yes and no question. Have, has, plus object plus been plus past participle examples have bikes been ridden by them has the letter been written by you w h question examples which foods have been cooked which book has been read by her now, as you watch the video, let's answer question number two. Rewrite the sentences in the present perfect passive. Number one is done. They have painted the building again. The building has been painted again. So has or have plus been plus painted in the past participle. Okay, number two, someone has drawn a picture in my diary. Number three, our school has won the competition. Number four, archaeologists have found an ancient building in the desert. Number five, we have collected a lot of money for the charity. Number six, they have planted trees along the river. Let's see the answers. Here we have the answers. Number two, a picture has been drawn in my diary by someone. Three, the competition has been won by our school. Number four, an ancient building has been found in the desert by archaeologists. Number five, a lot of money has been collected for the charity by us. Number six, trees have been planted along the river. Now let's have a look on the review page uh, in your books, page 28. 
Question one, complete the text. We have Tom, marble, minaret. This is a beautiful mosque in Cairo to enter. You walk across an area with a floor made of marble. The top of the tall minaret, of course, reminds me of the shape of a pencil. The roof of the mosque is a huge round dome. Let's see the answers. Here we have, as we said, number two is minaret, number three is dome. Let's go to question two, use the present perfect passive. Rewrite the newspaper headlines using the present perfect passive. Number one, which is done, a fire has damaged ancient objects. Ancient objects has been damaged by a fire. Number two, people have decided on a new list of the wonders of the world. Number three, what have they called the new baby? Number four, Egypt has won the international competition. Let's see the answers. Here we have the answers. Number two, a new list of the wonders of the world has been decided. Number three, what has the new baby been called? Number four, the international competition has been won by Egypt. Question number three, ask for opinions, agree and disagree. Complete the dialogue. We have agree more. Do you think of exactly how I feel? Have a point. Totally disagree. We have a dialogue between Fauzi and Chadi. Fauzi, as a man-made wonder of the world, what do you think of Buckingham Palace in London? It's amazing. Shadi, I space. It's not very old and it's not very beautiful either. So, Shadi said, I totally disagree. Fauzi, you space there. What about the Biblioteca Alexandria? That's a beautiful building. So, Fauzi said, you have a point there. Shadi, yes, I couldn't space i love the fact that it has museums inside it as well as the library so shadi said yes i couldn't agree more number five fauzi that space it's an amazing building so of course that's exactly how i feel let's see the answers here we have the answers as we said. Number two, totally disagree. Three, have a point. Four, agree more. Five, exactly how I feel. Here we have word building skills. We can use the following prefixes to change the meaning of some verbs. We have miss, which means do wrong or badly. We have read, misread, print, misprint. Also, we have re, which means do again, paint, repaint, read, reread. That's all about unit 14. Wait for unit 15. Thank you.